everybody, Diana from Diana Simplifies here. How are you doing? Well, we're past Thanksgiving and I've been to Dollar Tree several times. So uh, I'll show you my shirt. If you, you may have seen my Friday Five video, I'm not sure what's posting first, this or the Friday Five, but there's my Meowy Christmas with the little kitty cat. I'm just fil filming two at the same time because I had time before Spencer and I go to lunch. So this weekend, I have a, uh, I believe it's a brunch. One of my friends is having a brunch at her house just for a few ladies. And she told me not to bring anything. However, while I was at Dollar Tree, I picked up a few snacks. So I figured I would just arrange some of these nicely on a little plate or platter or something and take these so I'll have something. So, um, Nani from Nani's Life had mentioned these. This is called Bel Belina, I think. Fine shortbread cookies with European dark chocolate. If you don't know, I love dark chocolate. So I have not tried these yet. She says they're wonderful and they're also just pretty. So I thought these would look pretty on a little platter. I did actually get two of these. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep one of these for us and then probably put, I don't think there's that many cookies in here. So, you know, put one on the platter and keep one for ourselves. I thought since it was a, a breakfast, you know, like a brunch, I thought I would get these little pecan twirly things. Um, this is Mrs. Freshly, so I've never tried these. It says pecan twirl sweet rolls. So I guess it's kind of like little cinnamon roll type things, but with a little pecan taste or pecans in there, I'm not sure. So anyway, I did pick these up as well to put on the platter. I have never seen these. They had two types. This is the strawberry. It says fruit filled biscuits. I thought these were cute. Uh, the other one I saw was, I believe it said raisin and apple. So I just got this one just to see if I liked it, but I thought these would be cute on the platter. So it's a sun, sun I thought I was gonna say sun belt, sun best brand. So anyway, these are the strawberry ones. It does say naturally flavored. I don't know how natural it actually is. And there's 10 of them. Oh, it also says new right over there, new. So that's why I haven't seen it before. New, and it does say there are, um, did I say it was 10? I don't even see it. Oh yeah, 10 fruit filled biscuits. It just looks like little crackers to me with filling. Okay, and then I got a different shortbread. This says thin shortbread dark chocolate cream, European style cookie. 12 cookies and so it's got the cream in the middle there that looks pretty good to me I haven't and I've not tried any of these yet so we'll see how it goes but I thought I would put some of these on the platter I mean 12 cookies I can put six on the platter keep six for us whatever now Nani's been talking about these forever and these are the caramelized biscuits and they're just little these little cookies I think it's isn't that shortbread small biscuit lightly spiced and unique taste it says Pally P-A-L-L-Y biscuits now, the interesting thing about these is I was reading the ingredients. I was trying to decide, do I wanna try these or not? Cause I wasn't sure this was my kind of thing. But I started reading the ingredients. If I can find them, I will, I will uh, where are the ingredients? Why is this so hard to read? Wheat flour, sugar, sunflower oil, brown sugar, syrup, Soy flour, I think it says. Leavening, salt, cinnamon. Anything about that strike you as odd? Usually when you look at cookies, they're gonna have, or any kind of junk food in America. These are not actually American made. I think there's, I'm trying to remember where these were from. I'll probably never find it. The Netherlands, yeah. This is why, in America, your food's all gonna be junk food, right? It's all gonna be a bunch of stuff you can't pronounce. It's gonna be a bunch of chemicals you've never heard of, no telling what it is, no telling what it's doing to you. Do I buy it? Yes, of course I do. Um, but this says no artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives. Um, and then, I don't know, somehow I started reading the ingredients and I was like, this is very impressive. Also, the sugar content is not super high. Um, now, soy's not the best. I mean, we know, soy's not the best. I don't think sunflower oil's the best. I get it, but what I'm saying is you can actually pronounce these ingredients. So let me see what the sugar, the sugar says, total sugar is nine, includes nine grams of sugars, and I believe 
serving size four cookies. So these are probably pretty small, but you can eat four of these and only get nine grams of sugar. That's actually pretty good for junk food. Let's just, let's just face it, right? Okay, so I actually got two of those. So I'll probably put a few of those on the little plate as well, but I pretty much got those for me because of the sugar content. And so maybe I'll have something I can keep around the house that doesn't have a million chemicals in it and not tons of sugar and I can just nibble on it and have a little, you know, a little sugar fix. It's not like 9,000 grams of sugar. Okay, now I believe I have shown these two soaps before, but I ran across another soap. So these smell divine. This is uh, cinnamon swirl and then the cranberry, what does that say? Oh, that's foreign. No wonder I can't read it. Frosted cranberry. So one side foreign, one side English. So frosted cranberry and the cinnamon swirl. These smell fantastic. I haven't tried this one yet. I've been using this one. It smells great. It feels nice. Very soft. Um, very nice soaps. Those are very nice soaps. Well, I ran into the strawberry coconut, so I had to pick these up too. So I'm using the strawberry coconut right now. I didn't even, I didn't even quite finish the cranberry. I pushed it off to the side and I'm like, I'm gonna use the strawberry. Now, if strong smells bother you, this strawberry is not as strong. It's, it's much, much lighter. So if you need a lighter scent, but you'd like to try it, I would try this one if you can find it. I haven't seen as many of these, so you may not, uh, you might have trouble finding it, but it's the strawberry coconut, refreshes with essential oils and nourishing coconut oil, and it is the Yardley brand. Very nice soap, very nice. I've really been enjoying these. These are great for gift baskets. If you're needing gift ideas that are just simple, something you could just run in and pick up, hopefully your dollar store will have them. Um, I've been getting us some little treats, so we've already eaten these, but I've, I've uh, just taped it, <laughs> taped it up and brought it in here. The original Spree. I got Spencer the Frosty Nerds. This was actually on the Christmas aisle, and then I started looking for me. I had picked me up something. I think it was the Junior's Peppermints or whatever they're called, and then I saw this, the regular Spree, so I put the Junior's back, and or whatever, anyway, whatever minute it is, and I got myself the Spree, and yeah, we made pretty short work of these. These are, I think, three point. No, this is five ounces. Yeah, both of these are five ounces. That's not bad for a dollar twenty-five. Not bad at all. Um, a lot, like a lot of these cookies. Um, one of these cookies is two point nine six ounces. Um, now this one's actually good. This one's eight point eight ounces. So that's that's good. Really good for, um, I think, for Dollar Tree. But you know, a lot of these cookies are really small ounces. Let's see what does this one say. 4.44 ounces for this one. So the cookies, a lot of times, really small ounces. Okay, now, um, usually I tell you I'm not a crafter. I have decided I'm gonna try to do a little crafting. And so these items, these items you could use just for Christmas, but I'm probably gonna be using them more for crafting. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I've, I've not done crafting in 100 years, and we'll just see. But I found this bag, I'm not gonna be able to get into the frame with it, um, look, the kitties, the, the cute little Christmas tree with the little fish and the bones and stuff on it. And look, this looks like sunshine. This doesn't quite look like Ranger because his face is black with brown. So he's the opposite. But anyway, it's close enough. And then it's cute. Look at the little paw prints. And then this, let's see, I thought there was a Jasper. Yeah, that reminded me of Jasper. Um, that reminds me of nothing that I have at this moment. And then that, I don't have a dog like that, of course. And then, you know, we've got some gray cats. So anyway, but this sunshine, it just really reminded me of sunshine. And then the Jasper, of course, and it's on both sides. So if you wanted to use it for crafting or if you just need a huge bag, you could use it for either one, but it is a ginormous bag. And it, it's got the little um, holly jolly tag, that's cute. So, and then like the little stripes on the inside. So anyway, it's a very nice, if you need a huge bag, this one is just huge. Okay, so that, got that. Um, oh, these LED lights are amazing. These are blue. They, it, it's, um, it's hard to see because there's a glare, but it's, um, it's snowflakes, but it shows up blue, the light's blue. So I got two strings of these I have hung up right now. I'll try to remember to put the clip in. I have a clip of them hanging up with them on. So anyway, they are blue. You can't really tell they're, um, when they're on, you can't really tell that they're snowflakes. But during the day, you can see that that's what they are when they're not on. Okay, so anyway, I got three strings of those and I've got two of them hanging up. I bought these little puppets aren't those cute? Because I, I want to craft from more of a Jesus perspective than a Santa Claus perspective. So I wanted some little, I thought the little Jesus, they have like old Santa Claus type stuff too, but I thought the little Jesus kind of nativity 
was cute. So you can put these little together and then I'm gonna put those in my little journal that I'm gonna be making. Um, I got some ribbon to use in my journal. So some sparkly blue, the, the dog kind of looks like Ranger. I mean, it's just so totally black, but close enough. And then the Merry Christmas and then the truck and the dog is in the truck, which Ranger of course does not ride in the back of the truck like that. Cause we wouldn't do that, but he would love to, he would jump out and then, um, the little Christmas tree. So the, the dog, the Merry Christmas, the truck, very cute. And if you don't know, I have a truck. My truck is not red, it's navy, but I do have a truck. <clears throat> I got silver, silver sparkly, very pretty. And I got a composition, they didn't have Christmas ones, but I got a composition book to journal in. This is, um, I watch Crafty Girl and she does junk journaling. I've been watching her do this for months and I finally decided, you know what? I'm, mine's never gonna look as cute as hers, but I believe I could junk journal. So that's what all this is for. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. But anyway, she uses these composition books to do that. So I'm going to have to cover this, obviously, to make it look wintry. So mine just, she's doing a December one. Mine's just going to be like winter because I'm, I know I'm not going to sit down and do this every day. So the day that I'm filming, it's December 1st. So it's just right, right in time for winter, you know, for winter journaling or whatever. So that's kind of what I'm doing. So it's not just Christmas themed. A lot of this is Christmassy, but I also want to just kind of winter theme. Now, these are the window clings. It says two pack window clings. So two pack window clings. And so this is the front and I love these. These went so fast in my stores. I can't even find them anymore. The two sided ones, these are like the little puffy ones. So these are going to be cute for journaling as well. And see like this, you can use this kind of stuff all winter long and like the little um, you know, it is like Christmas color, but the little gloves and the socks and the hat, that's just winter in general. So yeah, it's, it's Christmassy, but it's also winter. So I decided to just do, cause I know I'm not going to journal every day of my life cause I'm just not the type to just sit down and do that. But I do want to try to kind of like make myself be more like sit down and get focused, you know? So this one also more winter, just wintry theme, doesn't have to be Christmas. And then love the back. I love this. I'm thinking about maybe putting that on the cover or I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. But um, just very pretty. I love blue. Blue is my favorite color anyway. So the blue and the white, just so pretty. Those are also window clings, two-pack window clings. So you could, you could just get these, put them on your windows. And fortunately, like my store's completely wiped out of this stuff. I think a lot of people are crafting with them. So, and they're so cute, so they're just gone. And I also, this is also window clings. Whoops. But see, you can just glue this down. You can you can either use it as a window cling or you can just craft with it and glue it down. So love the gingerbread idea. Y'all know I love the uh, rainbow. Love the little gnome stuff. Very cute. The gnomes are a little bit overdone this year, so I'm, I'm kind of getting close to being over the gnomes, but I do still think they're cute. I'm not completely over it. Okay, now these, I think what I'm, these are the, the boxes, you know, that you actually wrap stuff with, but you can also craft with these. And so I'm thinking about maybe cutting this out and putting this on my cover. So, um, yeah, we Christmas, it wasn't me, and just cats wrapped up in different things. So it's not a wintry scene, but it is Christmassy. So yeah, I'm doing a winter one, but I did think I might use this on the cover. Or I might just cover it with, um, I've got some, some snowflake paper that actually kind of reminds me of this. I could just cover it with like snowflake paper. So the Christmas paper. So, and then the other one says joy and I meant to open this. I don't know if I can get into it. Let me see. Cause there's, I think there's an, another one in here with a different print. Let me see what the other print is. Here if I can get in. Oh, this is cute. It's a snow print. So this looks like it's like snowman. Oh yeah, this is really cute. See, I could use that. I could use that that actually for the cover because that's more of a winter. Yeah, so it still says happy holidays, but I mean, you know, it's more of a winter scene. So yeah, I could use that. So you've got three different options here. You got the cats, then you got the pretty joy. You could just cut that out and use it on a cover if you wanted to. Or again, just use it as a box. I don't actually need any gift boxes. So I'm just gonna use these for the crafting. And then I think, I'm wondering, I asked Spencer, do you think that I got rid of my colored pencils? Cause I guess I wanted to go buy some colored pencils. He thinks I decluttered them. I was like, why would I declutter my nice set of colored pencils? Cause I actually do use them sometimes. I'm not, even though I'm not a crafter, I do use them. But anyway, I, I got a coloring book 
and I got like a more snow one. They've got a million Christmas ones, but if you want to just like snow type of thing, or obviously this is, this is for children, but um, Crafty Girl mentioned you could like this. Look how cute this is. This is like a vintage Christmas ornament. You can just color that with colored pencils. You could even like um, markers, whatever you had, and cut it out and put it in your journal. But, you know, whatever. And then the little angel, how cute. Yeah, so I got this one because it wasn't just Christmas. Christmas, it was, it, it does have Christmassy stuff, but it also just had winter. So just see, like, look at the little, oh, and the little gingerbread house, how sweet is that? So if you wanted to color something, I know that sounds, seems childish, but Crafty Girl does a lot of little kid stuff. I love her channel because she's just like a grown-up kid, and I love watching her. And look at that, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> So anyway, I got that because it was more of a winter theme than it wasn't just Santa Clauses because like I said, I'm not, I have Santa Clauses around the house, but I'm not just all about Santa Claus. I really am more about Jesus and the Lord. And it's, to me, it's more about, you know, um, you know, Jesus coming and he came here to save us. And so that's more my thing. And I also got these to craft with. These are just little stickers. What does it say? Glitter stickers. They've got bunches of different ones of these. And this is the Crafters Square stuff. But it is in the Christmas area, so... Yep, they got all the kinds of stuff like this you could use. And I got the Mod Podge in case I want to Mod Podge something. It is just a small one. It's probably cheaper to buy it somewhere else. But since I'm not, since I haven't crafted in years, I'm not sure this is going to take. We're just going to see. I just got a small one, okay? I didn't want to spend a bunch of money. I'm trying to get stuff that I really think I'm going to use and not spend for no reason. And then I got some craft glue. Um, a, a glue stick I think will work, but I'm probably going to just gonna try this craft glue and see if this works. I don't even have a glue stick that's, I, you know, a lot of my glue sticks, because I'd quit crafting, it all just got funky and wasn't working anymore. So I think that's everything. I've got some cards I'm gonna show you because you can craft with these cards as well. I did wanna mention, I've got my little tree next to me and I bought these ornaments and I have a tabletop tree. I've actually propped this up on my table, but I actually have an actual tabletop tree, but I think these are too big. And so I think I'm gonna, I do have some empty spaces here. I think I'm gonna put this like on here. I think that'll be cute. And you can also craft with these. You can put these in your junk journal if you wanted to. Your junk journal can be nice and thick and have stuff coming out of it. And you know, you could just like hang it on or whatever. Um, so the little trees, that'll also be cute. Obviously it's like the Buffalo check, which I'm not actually not even a huge fan of Buffalo check, but you know, that's what they had. So that's what I picked up. And then I love these little snowflakes. So I can, and these have the little hangers back here. So, you know, I can also put one of those in my junk journal or, you know, put them all on the tree or whatever I want to do with them. But anyway, I thought these were cute. So I haven't put them on the tree yet, but that's, they're here to be put on the tree. Now I got cards that were specifically about Jesus, Jesus' birth, the wise men, stuff like that. So I found a lot. I think these were all 50 cents. This one is, oh, this one's beautiful. Season's greetings, how beautiful, very wintry, not even really Christmas so much. And then, okay, this one does not have, this is just a regular one. This is not one of the religious ones, but most of the ones I got, I got this because it's a winter scene. Most of them do have a religious, um, like a Bible verse is really why I got them. So, oh, this one, look how pretty that is. That's also just like beautiful blue winter scene. And it's, Okay, this one does not, let's see. This Christmas, may God pour you out a blessing so big you won't have room enough to hold it. And so wonderful, the joy will last all year long. So this one doesn't have a verse in it either. This is the mahogany brand of um, the Hallmark Mahogany. Okay, so no verse in that one. I promise we're gonna get to them. Okay, these are the joyful, joyfully yours. If you don't know, they do have the joyfully yours now there. And I mean, 50 cents for joyful years. Oh, come, let us adore him. So we got the wise men going to see Jesus. And we got this nice King James verse. I love the King James. If you don't know, that's my favorite. Now, what you can do with these, if you want to journal with them, is you can just glue them in your journal and then you can actually journal right here. So, you know, you can use, you know, craft items or, you know, whatever type of items and then use the blank areas for your actual journaling if you're wanting to write in it, or you can just have a cute little cutesy book, which is maybe what I'm doing. I don't, I don't do just like a whole lot of writing about my life, but I thought, you know, that's a small space. I could probably come up with something pretty quick to say. So anyway, that, that one is pretty, these are all also just pretty to send out if you wanted to. Another joyfully yours. Oh, very sweet. The little nativity. And it also has the King James, again, my favorite. Love that. So anyway, very sweet. 
So like I said, you could just send these. If you only needed to send a few cards, you could just buy them like this. Joyfully yours. Let's see, why did the Lord make his journey to earth, humbling himself as a baby at birth? What made him leave heaven's glory above? And again, another beautiful scene. And then the inside, and then again, another verse. It says, one simple reason, he did it for love. Maybe your Christmas be richly blessed with God's wonderful love. So there's that. I thought that was just beautiful. That's a joyfully yours as well. Another joyfully yours. Um, Christmas reminders. Just really pretty. And another verse. Let's see. Yeah, another King James. I typically got the King James one, but I like that other one, so it was a different version. But my, that's my favorite. Okay. And one more, and I think we'll be done. Oh, this was cute. Let's see. Yeah, this is just Heartline. This one doesn't have a verse in it, but look, what do we see here? Puppy dog. And also, I love these campers. So, I just kind of got it for the pictures on here. Again, you can just put it in your journal and write right here if you want to, or you can cut the picture up. You can just use this, you know, get the words out. Just use that as your part of your journal. And then, or, you know, cut things out. Just use this, whatever, however you want to do it. Or you can use the whole card. I probably just use the whole card. I won't even cut it up. And then I can just journal right here if that's what I want to do. Okay. And so Crafty Girl's been doing lives and she made shaker cards, which were really cute where you just put like little glitter in there and you have just, just really pretty, like a card with a little glitter. It's very pretty. So anyway, she's doing lives. If you want to go to her channel and check that out. Thanks so much for being with me. This may have seemed a little chaotic. I'm not sure. I think that's everything. Yep. Love you guys. Thanks so much for being here and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.